welcome back to my craft room thank you for joining me today the die that I'm going to share with you today is this one here it's a horse and carriage and um, I paid one pound ten pence for that and I'll leave some links in the description for you um, I'm going to make a wedding card my mum's asked me if I could make her a wedding card and I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to share that die with you so I'm working on just a six by six white card um, and I've, first of all I've cut myself a a mat and it's this black one here and it's from this paper pad here it's called vintage elegance and there are some nice patterns in this one and this one was from the range I'm not too sure if it was a pound or one pound fifty but I'll link it in the description anyway so first of all I'm going to pop this black mat onto my card So let's pop this one on first. Oops. I'm just eyeballing it really and hoping for the best. Right, there we go. First part, my mat, the black mat. Next, I've put myself another mat and it's this lovely silver glitter paper and it's really, really fine. It, it, it looks like it's grainy, the glitter, but it's not. It's really, really smooth. It's lovely and I'm not too sure where I bought this from. I think it might have been a craft fair that I went to. Um, so let's pop some tape onto this piece. I'm going to pop this next one on. I've left a smaller board around this piece. And there we go. So that's that bit. Two mats on there. Right, what I've done next is I've cut myself quite a bit of... I've cut myself... A white heart I've cut myself a frame in the heart in the silver and I've cut myself um, a bride and groom I'll link these are all other dies that I've used in other videos I'll link them in the description for anybody that may not have seen the um, if you search my videos you'll see that I've used the bride and groom and I've also used the hearts so it was more this um, horse and carriage that I wanted to show you today so what I'm going to do first is I've cut myself just a piece of black card and I'm just going to pop this on the bottom of my card and I'm going to use some foam tape to do that with so excuse me get some foam tape out I thought I had some on my desk so I'm just going to pop some tape on there Take the back off here. Oops, sticking to me. Right, so I'm going to pop this black piece at the bottom of my card there. Next, I'm going to stick my white heart down. Um, I'm just going to pop some foam pads on there. Oh, these are the rubbish foam pads that I was speaking about the other day. don't know where they're from, but they're absolutely rubbish. They don't want to come off at all. They're absolute rubbish. Let's see if I've got some more in here. Right, let's try these ones. Let's see if these are any better. Much better. Great. So... I don't know where the other ones were from. I think maybe it was from one of the pound shops, but I wouldn't recommend them. Absolute rubbish they are. So, sorry, just bang my knee on my desk. Right, let's pop this white heart on. Right, so I'm going to pop my heart on. I'm going to put it on a little bit of an angle. Just over there like that. So there's my first bit. Next, what I'm going to do is I've cut the heart in black, but I've cut it in half because I'm going to put a piece of the black just on top of the on top of the white there. I'm going to flat stick this bit. So, and the reason I've done that is because I've cut the 
bride and groom in black but I have also cut it again in white so I'm going to paper pierce um, and then the bride's not wearing a black dress so let's just pop some and then we're going to flat stick that one pop some tape on here and I just put the heart and I just folded it in half and cut it in half again so I'm going to pop that heart just on there so it looks like I've got half black well it is half black and half white and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my little bride and groom down and I'm going to just use some wet glue for that so let's just pop some glue on here there we go right so let's just pop some glue on there so I'm just going to stick this down and I'm going to stick it so the sort of in the middle there the hands are in the middle if you can just see that bit there and then I'm going to pop my white bride over the top just sit it just like that so that's the reason I cut the heart the heart in in half so I can have half black and half white and then next I'm going to use I've cut this little silver frame see it there and I'm going to pop this around the outside of my heart I'm going to use glue to do that with right let's just pop this up I'm just going to press down. I'm not bothered about the glue that's come out of the sides because it does dry clear this glue, so I'm not worried about that. Let's just fix that heart. So there we go. Adding glue in the heart. Now, here's my next part. I've cut up the, the horse and carriage and it cut lovely. I thought it may have struggled going through the die cutting machine, but it cut really nice. I was quite surprised. Um, because the card that I used, this silver card, was quite thick as well. I put it through twice and it cut fine. So let's just pop some glue all over here. And this is a nice die to use. I've made my little girls when they've gone to birthday parties, I've made quite a couple of cards using this, this die. So I'm going to pop my horse and carriage just at the bottom of my card there there we go that's where I'm up to at the moment and then I'm going to sort my sentiment and all I've got I've chosen is I've chosen this just congratulations so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it in black and then I'm going to go over it with my clear embossing powder so let's just get that ready my scratch paper right so Let's just get my little embossing board and give it a wipe before I stamp. I haven't used a wooden stamp in ages. So let's just pop that there, get my ink, and I'm using my Versafine. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm hoping to get a nice impression first time. Lovely. So I'm just going to pop some clear embossing powder over that. I'm just going to be turning, turning the heat gun on, excuse me, just to be getting warm. So let's just pop some clear embossing powder over this. Once it's wet. Just going to... Right, here we go. There we go. So that's my sentiment done. Let's just pop this remaining embossing powder back into my top. Right, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut around this and I'm going to stick it onto a little piece of black card. So, just 
like that and I'm just going to stick it onto my piece of black card Oops. just pop it onto there and then I'm just going to cut around this just so I've got a little bit of black showing there we go just some the congratulations and I'm going to pop it just at the side of the card there so I'm going to have to I think I'm going to have to double up on the foam pads because the heart's quite padded so let's just cut these squares in half right pop some foam pads on that the one in the middle and I'm just going to double double up on the, the foam pads just because the heart's quite raised here and it'll look I think it'll look strange if it's not even so let's just pop some more on oops and just one more piece to pop on oops Right, let's just take that backing off and I'm just going to pop this just there like that so there we go there's the card up to now and then just to finish I'm just going to put a few of these little silver and black gems and I'm just going to dot them around so I'm just going to put a couple of black ones here Um, I think these gems are just from the pound shop. I'm almost sure they are. One, two. I'm going to pop a silver one up there. I don't do even numbers. I have to do odd on my cards. And then I'm just going to pop a couple just round here. I'm going to go with silver again down there on the black. And I hope my mum will like this card. I think she will. And then just a few black ones just on this silver. Last one. And then to finish, I'm just going to use my um, Crafter's Companion Sparkle Pen, very similar to the Winker Stella Pen. I'm just going to go over the bride's dress. That's better. Wasn't coming out very well. Over the bride's dress and just round my congratulations. And that's it, guys. That's my card finish for today. I'll just show you. There we go. It was quite a bit of die cutting, but pretty easy to put together. Um, as always, any questions, feel free to ask me, um, and I will always reply to you. Um, all the details of how I made the card will be over on my blog, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch, and I'll be back soon. Bye. <music>